Today we're going to talk about submitting your work in Odigia, submitting a quiz, which in uh, quantitative literacy, uh, quizzes are usually lab assignments. We're submitting a test in Odigia, making sure that it submits. So I have the very first lab assignment, first quiz up right here. You see at the bottom there's the submit to instructor button. Uh, if I press this button and I haven't answered all the questions, a red message will pop up under the question informing me that I need to answer it. So I can answer it here. Hello, let's say that's my answer. Then I want to click the submit to instructor button and uh, it might give you real-time feedback here. It might not depending on uh, how the assessment is set up. Uh, but you'll see a, a note at the bottom waiting on instructor feedback. That means it's been submitted to the instructor and uh, you're waiting on the instructor to uh, grade it and then send you, send you the feedback uh, back to you. Uh, so let's go, let's say that you submit something and you log out and uh, you come back uh, later that day or another day and you want to check and make sure that you submitted what you thought you submitted. Uh, so if you go to the outline, the assignment you go to the assignment you were working on, so I was working on uh, this first quiz, and it says uh, that it was submitted and it gives you the time and the date. I happen to know that this time is wrong, uh, but this date is correct. Uh, so it at least gives you an idea as to when you submitted something. So I am now going to grade this and come back in just one second and uh, take a look at what it looks like after it's been graded. All right, now some time has passed and I'm, I've come back and uh, my most recent uh, lab assignment quiz has been graded. So let's take a look at uh, how that would look. So uh, I'm going to go to the assignment and instead of, the, instead of the quiz saying it's submitted, it now says it's been graded and I can see my grade. My grade is uh, 10 out of 1,000, so I didn't do particularly well on this, this lab assignment. Uh, you can see here teacher feedback and the feedback given is uh, you did not respond to the prompt since all I did was type in the word hello. Uh, so that is one way I can look and see feedback. Another way I can look is up here you have a, a notification tab and there you can see that your instructor has submitted feedback for what is quantitative literacy writing lab uh, and then you can post here click there and also see the feedback look at your grade uh, so that's the highlights on uh, how to make sure you submitted your work and then how to come back after the fact and check and make sure for certain that that lab uh, was submitted and then uh, once it's been graded how that will look in the course outline and how you could also go under the notification tab and uh, see teacher feedback, look at your grade. I also want to remind you here, uh, we have a separate video on how to save as you go uh, that covers keyboard shortcuts and how to copy and paste your answers into a Word document. Uh, so if there is a connection issue, uh, you can always uh, quickly copy and paste your answers uh, back into the lab assignment and that will hopefully save you a whole lot of time.